Welcome back everyone. You might be in a weird situation where for some reason your Safari is just not downloading or loading any web pages. Now lucky for you, Apple actually put out a really good web page on exactly how to fix these things. So I'll basically be reiterating these things in this video, but I will leave this link down below if you want to go ahead and read it from there if you don't want to hear my voice. And the very first thing that they recommend is connecting to a different network. Now as you can see my web signal, my web signal, <laughs> what is this 2008? My Wi-Fi signal is actually very, very low. And right when I was loading up web pages and everything, I realized that my Wi-Fi signal is just really bad. I don't have, you know, a good cell signal here either. So I just have to kind of suck it up for the time being. But the best thing to do is probably go into your Wi-Fi settings and connect to a better signal if there's one available. If there's not, then your phone may not have an issue. It's just, you know, not a Safari issue or a bug. It just means you have pretty bad internet. And I feel like that's probably the case for a ton of people. Also another thing, if you type in the credentials for your Wi-Fi and it's actually wrong, sometimes it'll still look like it's connecting, it'll look like you have the Wi-Fi signal, but you won't be able to retrieve or you know catch any information because the Wi-Fi credentials are wrong. So make sure the Wi-Fi password is right, make sure you know you're connected to a good signal. If those things aren't true, then you might just have a really bad signal on your device and you'll probably just have to wait for it to get better or move closer to the router. Now another thing Apple recommends doing is restarting your device. And this usually fixes a lot of issues, believe it or not. I know it's very you know simple to say, but it actually does fix a lot of issues. And the way to fix this, hold on the volume down button and the power button, slide to power off, and then restart the device. And then from there, you should be able to go and power back on by holding down the power button, and then go back into your device. And usually at this time, you know, try loading up a web page. If it actually fixed, then you're set. If it didn't fix, then obviously there's a problem in and of itself. But usually, you know, at this point, if you connected to a better signal and you restarted your phone, most of the time it usually fixed a lot of issues for me at least. Now another thing Apple recommends doing is resetting the network settings. So in order to do this, all you want to do is go into your settings app. You want to go into general, which is right here. You want to scroll down until you see reset. It's right above the shutdown button. You want to hit reset. And right here, you'll see a couple different settings. Right in the middle, it'll say reset network settings. Now this will basically make it so, you know, all your Wi-Fi passwords, all your saved Wi-Fi's and all that are deleted from your device. So keep that in mind. Now I'm not going to click it because I don't have this issue, but if you are having this issue, resetting the network settings might actually be the better way to go. So go ahead and click that, reset your network settings. And by this time, go ahead and recheck it. Hopefully it fixed it. If it didn't, though, one of the final things you can do is not the final thing, but you can scroll down into your settings. So go back into your settings. You can scroll down into Safari, which is right here. And at the bottom, you'll see a little thing called clear history and website data. Now you can go ahead and click this and it'll go ahead and delete everything. Like I said before, your saved passwords that aren't saved into your iCloud and all that different stuff. But your bookmarks and stuff are still there. Your favorites, you know, those are still there. Those are synced up with your iCloud. But things like, you know, your search history and stuff, all that is deleted within here. So go ahead and click that and go ahead and try to see if Safari fix. You know, if it is, then you're set. If it's not, then try doing these steps all over again and Hopefully at some point you will probably be able to get your Safari back. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.